how to create go high level contact from webook response automatically so with the help of webook we can connect different applications with high level and create contact automatically but the condition here is your application should support webook and now that application could be any application like a form builder or an email marketing or a payment gateway application so firstly we will copy our webook url and paste it in that application and whenever any event happened in that application the event data will be captured as a webhook response and once we have the data here as a response we can send that data to different application or to high level application and automate the process of creating a contact want to learn how you can also do that come with me and i will show you everything step by step So this is the dashboard of Go High Level CRM, and I am going to connect the Jot Form Form Builder application with the High Level because this application actually support Webhook, and for Webhook I will use Pabbly Connect, which is an integration and automation software. So basically, I will receive the Webhook URL from Pabbly Connect, which I am going to paste in Jot Form, and whenever the data is received, I will send the data to Go High Level CRM application automatically. Okay, so for Firstly, create a free account in Pabbly Connect. I am an existing user, so I am already logged in. Okay, so once the account is ready, and once you will reach out to the dashboard of Pabbly Connect, you'll have to click on this blue button that is Create Workflow, and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I have directly pasted the name as Connect to Go High Level with the different application via Webhooks. Now simply click on Create, and after that you will find two boxes. So these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so generally we select the application in this trigger and the action window in which we are building an automation but assume that whatever the application you want to connect with the different application or with the high level that application do not have a direct integration with the public connect so in such cases with the help of webhooks url directly you can connect your application with the public connect or with the high level but the condition here again is your application should support webhook okay and here i would like to tell you an important thing jotform already have a direct integration with the public connect yes jotform is the part of public connect integration library okay so if you want to connect jotform with the public connect you actually actually do not need this webhook by pabbly you can directly search for jotform but i am taking the example of jotform just because i want to show you how webhook really work and jotform is the application which is support webhook okay so i have edited the form and now i will go to settings option and in this integration section you will find the webhook option in this jotform form builder application okay so here you can find the webhook okay so i hope you have understood why i am taking the example of jotform although it has the direct integration with the public connect okay so let us once again search for webhook and now i'll show you the way how webhook really work okay so as soon as you select webhook here in pabbly connect you will always receive this webhook url which you will have to copy and paste it into that application whose data you want to capture here and then whose data you want to send it to different application okay so this is my form builder and here i have already opened this webhook section okay so firstly i will remove this existing integration so that i can show you everything from the scratch okay so you will have to search for webhook firstly and then you will have to paste that webhook url which you have actually got from pabbly connect now i will click on this complete integration button and this is how my jot form and pabbly connect application will be connected okay so in this way you just need to copy your webhook url and paste into that application whose data you want to capture and again your application should support webhook okay so coming back to pabbly connect and here you can read the instruction that it is waiting for the webhook response okay so as soon as i have copied this url it has already started waiting for the webhook response which means now log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test mission record so that the data can be recorded 
here in the web request once okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means because we are connecting a form builder application so that is why the test submission means actually a test form submission okay so i will open this form in front of you in a different app and i am going to make a dummy submission here and you will notice how the same submission data will be received via public connect okay so let me provide some random name something like demo then customer email will be demo customer 54321 at pablitudes.com asking for the phone number okay so again i will be adding some dummy phone number okay so i am proceeding with the dummy details now i'll click on the submit button and as soon as the submission is made in my jot form application you will notice that a webhook response will be received okay so now i'll show you the details one by one so here we have the same webhook url here we have the id of the form here we have the name of the form and here we have the submission data like the first name last name email and phone number okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in jot form and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so in this way with the help of webhook url you can actually connect a different application with the pably connect and capture the response here and once you have the data inside pably connect dashboard you can easily send that data to different application and create lot of automation okay so the first step of our automation is done and now moving further i am going to send this data to my high level crm application okay so in this particular case for connecting high level with the pably connect you will have to search for the lead connector yes you will have to search for this lead connector version 2 for connecting go high level crm with the pably connect okay so i have selected the same in the action event because i want to create a contact so i'll go with the same you can also go with this create or create or update a contact okay now just like we have connected jot form and public connect with the help of webhook url i will be connecting this high level crm with the public connect okay so simply click on this add a new connection and click on this connect with the lead connector version 2 okay and then it will ask you the access of your go high level crm dashboard okay but because i am already logged in in my go high level crm so that is why instead of asking me for the access it has asked me for the permission which i have provided and the authorization is successful and my high level account is connected with the pably connect so again do not get confused lead connector version 2 will help us creating a contact automatically in her go high level crm dashboard okay and here you can notice it is asking for several details which are actually required for creating a contact in a crm okay so i am going to provide the data only into the mandatory fields okay and now from where i'm going to provide the data remember we have already captured the data of jot form as a response of our previous step with the help of webhook url okay so i am going to pick the data from here and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy this data and paste below again and again i'm going to map this data mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down you just need to select your data and in this way the data will be mapped and in the same way i am going to map other data also one by one okay now you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details we are mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time in next time okay yes if you have provided any data manually that data will remain same but if you have provided any data via mapping that data will be replaced automatically okay so in this way our automation will take place okay and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation here i have mapped the first name and last name separated by a space asking for the email address let me search for the same and i think i have provided all the important details how about i also map this phone number okay so where is the phone number all right so i think every important detail has been mapped okay so how about i click on this button and you 
will notice a contact will be created automatically in our go high level crm dashboard okay so coming back clicking on this button save and send test request waiting for the response to receive and once the response is received and if that response is positive that means the contact creation is successful okay fingers crossed and here you can notice the response is received now i will refresh the dashboard of go high level crm and i am really expecting that the contact uh, should be created in my high level okay all right i'll have to refresh it once again i guess and here you can notice the same person with the same first name last name phone number and the same email address that is demo customer 54321 at pabditudes.com has been created as a contact in our go high level crm dashboard okay so in this way with the help of webhook url you can actually connect a different application with the high level crm dashboard automatically and to automate this whole process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect for once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay so now onwards what will happen every time any new submission is received here the same submission will be received via family connect because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time and once we have that data the same data will be sent to lead connector or to go high level crm and the contacts will be created automatically okay and just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside the your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free to the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video